you believe that miracles can still happen today? Do you believe that they even exist? Evangelist Freddie Clark has been witnessing God's healing power for over 50 years. Come and see for yourself what God is doing in this unique sign gift ministry. So all the work you've done for this tent meeting was worth it. <laughs> Come, he'll do some more for you. She looks like a cook, don't she? Thank God this crew has to eat after church. Listen, uh, you've been very busy um, among many things, even like Martha, so busy doing all this work. Settle down for a couple minutes like Mary. He wants you to sit at his feet and receive a miracle in your feet, in your feet. Got it? Mm -hmm. I'm proceeding now in your right foot. God is going to start healing your foot. Make sense to you? Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know what happened to it. I don't even want to hear about it. Raise both of your hands. You are going to receive a new foot, right leg. And both feet, but especially the right. Your hip joints, too. They're out, of, they're out of whack. God, give her back her sciatics and new joints. Replace these joints straight over the counter from Heaven's Parts Department. Send two new hips. A left and a right. Not two lefts or two rights. A left and a right. Make them fit, Lord. Here they come. How about say it, Andre? Hallelujah. Now she's speaking in tongues. Walk with me. Stomp that foot on the devil's head. Now regardless of how weak it is been in the past, strength has come to your foot and your leg. Hallelujah. Sister back there in the brown scarf, if she'll come. Hallelujah to the Lord now. You believe this is the way to have church? Amen. Would Jesus have church like this every day? Amen. Of course he would. Hallelujah. Ah, yes. Good to see you. So you would like a healing touch tonight? Yes. Raise your antennas. Something will strike them. <laughs> As I saw you sitting there, I perceived that something's going to Unlock, break loose in the back of your neck right here. Are you interested in that? Yes. You would like to receive that? Yes. Why is that? Is there anything wrong with your neck? Well, no. A little bit. Yeah, you have a turn. A crick comes in it. Don't you feel bad about your stiff neck? There's a lot of stiff neck people here in Polk County. <laughs> Yours is only physical. We can help you. It's those spiritual stiff necks you can't do nothing for. Now, two other things. Poor circulation. And a touch of arthritis. So, the circulation has to do with wax, colostrum, and uh, hardening of arteries, blockages. Your veins are stretching. They look like grape vines to me now. Wow. Let the blood circulate. Hush up, Andrew. Oh, glory to God. I'm, how many knows I'm holding her up? She would have went down, but I held her up. <laughs> you can never accuse me of pushing folks down. As soon as they get down, that's the end of the revelation. They don't hear no more. That's why mostly they stay on their feet. Proving once more that the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. Never mind. She turned to a rubberneck. <laughs> Arthur, come out of these bones and these joints. Even now, disappear. Oh, go for a walk and enjoy your new body.
How's the foot? Feeling good now? And the circulation come back. Did you notice a little difference when you walked? You're going to, huh? Oh, you do. Well, I didn't see that. But then revelation is not linked to a miracle. They're separate gifts. You want to come down and pray for that? Thank God. Anyone believe God will grow it out here tonight? Amen. Well, what are you freaking out for? God can do anything. Oh, I believe God can do things I can't see, but I, I just get apprehensive when he does something I can see. Amen. Don't be that way. something drawn in the leg when we pray. Surprised? Walk now. See the difference. The real test is when you walk. What you feel like walking. Really? Well, go ahead take a little run. Don't just walk. Take a little jog. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praising my Lord. Thank God. Well, we'll get there if you just keep your patience. Sister in the white in the back, come on down. At the risk of sounding like the right, the, the price is right, come on down. You ready for this? Yes. Raise hands. A little, look upon a, a blurring has started in your eyes and the vision. Let's get that first. Clear up. Oh, fog. Take a look around. Ah, the drainage in your throat. Open your mouth. Got it. Just a string hanging down her throat. I didn't see no string, preacher. Well, you should have been looking in the spirit. That's your tough luck. You have every right to be watching in the spirit here. You Pentecostals, you. Besides, whether you see the string or not, we can find out what happened by checking the throat. Makes sense to you? Swallow. It was clear. It is clear. It was clear. Your sinus is opening too. Sinus. You don't always have trouble with it, but the pollen started this, the pollen. Jesus' name, step of faith. Stop. Lower back. Lower left corner of your back. There it goes. Everyone said done. Ah, uh, the Lord got ahead of me on this one. A uh, heat's passing through you now. Yeah, I, I, I can't go fast enough to get ahead of him. <laughs> You have been borderline anemic, your blood's up. That's a loss of energy and strength and sleep, sleep, tired so much. Your strength's back by virtue of the blood came up, and that's the sign when the heat passes, the blood's healed. I have to explain that three times. I can't talk about it no more. Another thing is a spasm like a cramp will come and go in the lower abdominal. There? Okay, that's just where it was. You had that right. <laughs> Listen, her now, and let her go free. Walk around and see what happened to you. Ooh, Coriolabati. Louder now. Very good. 
Let me just check and make sure you're telling me the truth here. Uh -huh. There's a hum. Wow. Perfect ear. Another hum. Another perfect ear. Times I do a deed I shouldn't do and Many times I say a word I shouldn't say But let me tell you what I do And it brings a blessing to I just steal away somewhere And I pray just steal away, I just steal away, and I ask my blessed Lord to lead the way. Dad in the red, could you come? Yeah. Amen. God's concerned even about you. You ready for this? Sure. Let me just get started, okay? All right. Let this man drive the car and not break his neck when he's trying to look over his shoulder. Another stiff neck cured in Polk County. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Now, you would like the Lord to put back the highs and the lows in your ears. In your ears. Highs and lows. All right. That's nice. Now, there's the highs and there's the lows. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> it's louder now. Very good. Let me just check and make sure you're telling me the truth here. A hum. There's a hum. Wow. Perfect ear. Another hum. Another perfect ear. Step out of that boat. I've been doing a lot of praying here this throughout the, the night in this meeting for knees, kneecaps. And you wouldn't want me to quit praying for him, would you? I've had two replacements. Well, let's get rid of the old replacements and give you two real ones. Sounds good to me. 
Now, they might replace your knees, but you'll never kick up your heels like you did before you had the surgery. Oh, God. Give him back the knees that the doctor stole. Two knee transplants that are not plastic or metal. They are flesh and bone and marrow. Hallelujah. Oh, Sabbath. And a small thing. Sinus clear up in his head. Breathe deep through the nasal. Can you get it now? Oh, yeah. Good news. Thou shalt snore no more. <laughs> My wife will appreciate that. <laughs> and you're all also going to have to appreciate what she tells you because you can hear her now. I know that's bad, but that's the brakes. <laughs> well, how's the knees feeling? All right. Now, make no mistake. When you start feeling good around the healing power of God, that means you're healed. It means you're going to stay feeling good. I don't care how many devils comes along and says, it's my job to steal and to kill and to lie and to rob and destroy well devil you're out of a job around here you're gonna have to go find employment somewhere else hallelujah bless you are you glad he got his ears back sis okay now he'll have to listen praise the lord of hosts And this fella right here traveled with me too in the 60s and 70s and 80s, and he's the oldest. And he's 93 years old, or almost 93 years old now. And this is my real, honest to good, goodness, live father on earth. As I have a father in heaven, here's my father on earth. Dad, go to it. You're on the camera, so shine. Praise the Lord. Like many times before me when I woke this morning It seemed that this old world had turned its back on me And I couldn't find nobody that even wore a friendly smile And this burden finally got me on my knees But I feel better now since I sold the way to Jesus I feel better now way down in my soul When I rose this morning those skies look mighty gray but I feel better now since I pray. Sometimes I get to wondering why I ever should be tempted To think that this old world could be a friendly place And then when I get careless and cold and unconcerned My Savior lets me know it's time to pray And I feel better now since I stole away to Jesus I feel better now way out in my soul When I rose this morning those skies look mighty gray but I feel better now since I pray. So if your life is lonesome and burdened down with care, and temptation comes that seems so hard to bear, just put your trust in Jesus and he won't turn you away, and you'll come out smiling every time you pray. And I feel better now since I stole away to Jesus. I feel better now, way down in my soul. When I rose this morning, those skies look mighty gray. But I feel better now since I prayed. When I rose this morning, those skies look mighty gray. But I feel better now since I prayed. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> now, he was the youngest, and this fella right here traveled with me too in the 60s and 70s and 80s, and he's the oldest. He's 93 years old, or almost 93 years old now. And this is my real, honest to good, goodness, live father on earth. As I have a father in heaven, here's my father on earth. Dad, go to it. You're on the camera, so shine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's wonderful being here. And you can't say that those three testimonies were popcorn testimonies. And you know what a popcorn testimony is? You stand up pop and that's the end of you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, those were Holy Ghost men filled with the Holy Ghost like they were in Bible days. Amen. And I can see a big difference four nights here, two nights off. But the nights I was here, I see the, and heard the angels in heaven rejoicing over sinners who repented. I, I see people filled with the Spirit. I see people repenting. I see people finding their first love. Praise God. And I see people kneeling and standing up for Jesus and coming out when it's cold, coming out when it's wet, regardless of conditions. They said, I'm determined. I've made up my mind to really serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I just want to join that number. There's no man that's in number coming down, coming down. Come down from heaven. Listen, dear children, there's going to be a meeting when St. God will come out to meet us. We will be so happy in that great meeting. Coming down, coming down from God. Well, you better get in that number that no man can number. You better get in that number that no man can number. You can get in the number, and so many in the number, come down, come down from God, let no man in the number. You can get in the number, let no man in the number, come down, come down from God. One more time. You can get in the number, let no man in the number, you can get in the number, let no man in at the end of the program today, we would like to invite you to write to us, call us, email us, and give us your prayer request. We'll pray over them, and God will heal and deliver you as He does the people on the program. Now, we would also like to come to your city so contact us and tell us that you're watching and we may just be able to come. God bless you till next time.